Hey there guys, welcome to Family Video, the last major remaining video rental franchise on the planet. And just being here makes me feel warm and good inside. It's magical, it's mystical. With all that said, let's return some videotapes. <laughs> uh oh, it's locked. <laughs> Hey there guys, welcome to the Inside of Family video. This is one of my favorite places to go to. It's almost like my happy place in a way. And if you love movies or films, you probably agree with me. And the unfortunate thing is nowadays we don't have enough video stores, but the good news is Family Video is open. You can go to it right now, get in your car, go, and discover new movies that you never knew existed and you never knew you wanted to see. Movies like, I don't know, Skid Marks, bad example. When you come to a physical video rental store, it's not like streaming where you just skim over a movie for 25 minutes, you don't find anything that you wanna watch, then you go to bed unfulfilled. Here, you physically come here, you pick up the movies, you hold them, I don't even know what this is. I don't wanna watch it though. But you come here and physically pick them up and hold them and you get to read them and, and it's just, that, that whole process is what I love about movies and it just it motivates you to watch them. So yeah, let's, let's keep looking around. If it wasn't for the video rental store, I would have never discovered great classics like Kindergarten Cop. It's not a Tuma. Uh, they made a sequel called Kindergarten Cop 2. Who wants some chocolate chunk cookies? Do they have 78% cacao? No. I haven't played a video game in like 10 years. I'm looking for Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Unfortunately, I can't find it. So yeah, there's 500 plus family video locations open right now that you can go to, rent some movies, buy some movies, or buy some Sour Patch Kids, whatever you want to do. <laughs> oh, Taylor Swift's in this. What are you doing, man? If you want to watch a bad movie, you have to watch a good bad movie. Like, like this right here. <laughs> I wish Freddy Krueger would come and chop off your ass. It's okay, calm down. I actually know Odin, he co-hosts my podcast with me. Uh, but yeah, the, the crazy thing is, if you want to come rent a bad movie, that's actually good. I know you love this movie. Oh, I do. It's why, fantastic. Do you, why do you love the fanatic so much? I think it's because the opening line is, I gotta poo. I can't talk too long. I gotta poo. And when you start off at that point, you can only go up. It is an amazing performance. And it's also directed by Fred Durst. Yes. Yes, he's a director now. Uh, but the great thing is, you don't have to dedicate to purchasing this movie and keeping it. You can rent it, watch it, get the experience. And the greatest thing is, you return it. And it only costs a few bucks. Mm -hmm. So it's no commitment and you're not you're not really wasting your money on the movie, <laughs> but you are getting the experience. So, the last time you were in a video store, like four decades ago, yeah. what was like the last thing you rented? So one of the games that me and my family, and my brothers especially, always loved to play was a game called No Mercy uh, by the WWE. It was probably one of the best wrestling games that's ever been made. And we got it all the time. And what I love especially about these kind of places is that, you know, games are very expensive, like 60 bucks yeah, to, yeah. to get a game now. What's great about these places is that you can come in and rent it for what, a couple bucks, yeah. play it, and then boom, you've got the experience. And if you want to actually own it, boom, you can go ahead and buy it. And by the time you finish playing it, who knows, maybe it's on sale, maybe get it for a cheaper rate. Yeah, for me, when I was a kid and I went to the video rental store, my parents would always allow me to rent two movies. And what I did is I rent the same five movies over and over again. So that was one of them. But I had to have a, a safety net, right? 
But then the second movie, I'd always take a risk. I'd take a chance and run something crazy, bizarre, and weird. Whatever cover art like drew my eyeballs to it, that's the movie I rented. And that's where I discovered a lot of weird things as a kid. And I think that's, in one way or another, developed me as what I am today. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but this, in a way, and I don't want to sound too cheesy, but the video rental store formulated me as a person and made me a man, or at least made me the man I am today. Whatever that is, I'm not sure. Do you feel the same way about that? No, I absolutely do. I think that especially, you know, even the mood video store in the modern day and age could still do that, right? Think about, may not mean as many as they once were, but yeah. think about the kids or teenagers now that are coming into the stores and still, obviously there's people still coming in here. I mean, the fact that these places still exist yeah. and, you know, getting to know, hey, these are the movies that maybe I need to try out and if I like them, great, I can go ahead and buy them down the line or if not, then hey, I didn't lose anything by it except maybe a couple bucks. Yeah, like when you're on a streaming service, like clicking over movie after movie, after movie and you only see like the same 10 popular movies on the front page mm -hmm. you wouldn't discover crazy things like ace ventura pet detective with a little kid on it. i don't even know what that is but you know to sum it all up does netflix does amazon prime does disney plus do any of those have a gumball machine that is my question to you no they do not thank you yeah or shark Boy and lava girl on 3d they might have that Yeah, so the coolest thing is, once again, is you can come here and just buy movies. If you don't want to rent anything, just come in there. If you want to buy the physical copy of the movie, which is super convenient, and they're super good prices, too. Um, what, what do you got back there? Uh, Megan Levy for $2. Do you need it? Uh, not particularly, but it is a good film. But it's only 2 bucks. Yes. And speaking of buying movies, Study Hands, Study Hands, Nightcrawler, my favorite movie ever made and it's only $2 on Blu-ray, right here at Family Video. The name of the company is Video Production News, a professional news gathering service. That is how it should be read, and that is how it should be said. And you should watch it, or come by it at Family Video. The name of my company is Video Production News, a professional news gathering service. That's how it should be read, and that's how it should be said. And if you come into Family Video and you can't find the movie that you want or need, definitely check out their website. I'll put the link down below. They have a huge selection of movies, Blu-rays, DVDs, low prices, so I highly recommend that. Link down below, check it out. All right, guys, well, that's family video. Thanks for joining me today. But before I go, I have to do the most important thing. That's the reason you come to a video store. I have to grab some snacks and rent some movies. How much is it? That'll be $18. Thank you. Oh, hi, Sat Patch Kid guy. You're my favorite customer. My question to you is, mm -hmm. do you want to rent cats for three nights for $2.99? I want to buy cats for $5.99. <laughs> <laughs>